Hey guys, it's Gabriella with Feeding Type 1. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to insert a Dexcom G4 Platinum sensor. So it's a seven day sensor and you can wear it for a week. And um, I've changed it because I've been wearing it for like two and a half weeks or so. You can actually get one a week out of them. The FDA cleared them for a week, which means they work for about two to three weeks or so. Um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to need to rip off the old one and you just peel it up just like ripping off a psych, doesn't hurt at all, you just pop it right out. Now there's some magical trick with the key piece, um, don't trip that much, the key piece which is this little, over here, this little um, piece right here, but it's a lot easier just to take your two thumbs, angle down and just pop out the transmitter just like that. You're going to take your transmitter. You'll notice it's a little wet with um, fluid, uh, which is interstitial fluid. It's a little wet from the sensor, so you're just going to want to take an alcohol swab. And this is my diabetes cupboard here, which is filled with medical stuff. I'm over 16 years worth of stuff. Just take an alcohol swab, and you don't want to use anything but alcohol swab. You just want to wipe it down, sterilize it. You know, get all that old fluid off of there. And, you, um, and this is wet too, but this is the little tiny filament. It's about as thick as th three hairs. And it's right here. How can we see that? It's right here. And it goes on an angle. Um, it doesn't hurt for the most part if you do it right. And it's pretty hard not to do it right. So honestly, it doesn't hurt. Then you're just going to. A little alcohol bath. You're just going to open this right up. opens up just like a bag. You're going to take your adhesive and round it down, round it out. And you're just simply taking it and just pushing it down. Then you're just going to, you'll see there's an arrow right here. You just pull that straight out. This is the key. So, um, historically you're supposed to take these two pieces and dig the transmitter out of the back but it's so much easier to do it the way I showed you and there's really no reason to use that it just makes everything harder so then what you're going to do is stay just going to take your arm you're going to find a great spot to put your sensor and we're going to go right we're going to go right here so this is a IV wipe. Um, it's a Reliamed IV prep wipe, and you don't want to put any stick. It's a sticky wipe, so you don't want sticky wipes to. Um, this is alcohol, so I'll go quick. You don't want sticky wipes to go where the the cannula slash filament is going to go. So you just want to kind of avoid that spot where you're going to put the cannula, but you want to wipe all around it. Now, one thing that I discovered from carrying my own sparling. <clears throat> um, from her desk insertion video was if you just take off these two pieces right here anyway you just peel those off and then you take the sticky pad and you just kind of go over the adhesive this I found actually helps a lot and I think this was either from one happy diabetic um, Bill or Carrie Marone Sparling I'm not sure who taught me this but somebody did and it works very well and you just want to lightly go over it just like that okay and then here comes the fun part we stick it on find that little circle you had of where you didn't wipe down put her on and just kind of push down and then you're going to seal down your adhesive real good and make sure because you want this to stick for a long while so you want to stick it down real great really well Make sure it's all sealed down. You want to make sure you seal under this little switch here too. You want to get your uh, transmitter ready. Transmitter ready. Then you're going to have your friend take her hand and pinch up. A little harder down here. Right there. there you go. And you're going to go one, two, three. Push that in and stay. Pull this back by the collar and that inserts and retracts the needle. Then what you're going to do is you're going to pinch the knee your friend can let go. 
then you're going to pinch the two sides here and rock off the um, the inserter. You're going to actually have your friends just go like that. There. Oh, I did it myself. When you're done with this, this is garbage. Take your transmitter, make sure it's clean stuff. Put like the race car thing, I guess they say. You pop it in, take your end piece, and make sure both ends are, are both sides clicked in. Then you're gonna have your friend put her finger right there. You're gonna have her hold it and hold it a little better with more fingers. <laughs> And you're going to break that off. And then, congratulations, you've changed your sensor. Then what you're going to do is you're just going to come to your receiver right here. Let's get a good view of this. And you're going to go to stop sensor. Not shut down, but stop sensor. You're going to okay it out. Let's stop the old one. Then go down to start sensor. And in two to three hours, you're going to come back when this little green circle is filled and you'll calibrate. And that's what it looks like when it's done. And from far away. All right, thanks, guys. So, and this is what it looks like under my shirt.